approach the first director of the collective transport system. In order to pose him the idea of making a mural in the metro. In short, that this project of doing something that would have the repercussion of the public art goes back to that time. Our first chat was positive, because it cannot be denied that one of the most adequate places for the mural painting is precisely the metro, through which go daily a great number of people that, besides going to their work and their studies, visually collect much of what the metro offers them. And if the metro has pleasant walls, cultural walls, then people have the feeling that they are not simply in a subterranean. On the contrary, they have the feeling of being in a pleasant place where they are given visual attractives. activities. Later, I thought about the family, but the constant reading of the pre-Hispanic men's theme, and the fact that in the intersection where the mural is now, there was a sign that read Atla Tihuayan, which derived into Tacubaya, the place where the Atlatl was found, gave me the idea of a soul theme related to the first Mexicans.
see the seven caves, in the form of seven circles, with the original tribes that led from Aztlán. In this other wall, we can see the four leaders' figures, the guides or sorcerers. The first of them, carrying on his back, the god Colibri. Here, Huitzilopochtli is convincing the guides to stop. They are perplexed, because furthermore, they see how a thunderbolt splits in two the tree trunk that destroys their shrine. During the project of their pilgrimage, the Mexicans are learning. They discover how to accomplish different trades, what to do in order to obtain their food from the earth, and of course, they learn how to hunt, a thing that later would teach them the art of war. In these symbols, is captured the spirit of some of their activities. This one represents war, and their passage through Tacubaya and Chapultepec. Their coming back to Tacubaya may be appreciated here. In this same wall, we can see a serpent's head, whose rattles are placed at the beginning of their journey, and that later, without stopping being a serpent, a fertility symbol, serves as the scenery support. It is important to point out that just as it happens in this work, the serpent mimetizes itself with the earth color. Therefore, this reptile is in the mural as he is in his own environment. Here, we can see that, which later would become our nationality symbol. In here, we see Iscoatl, the Nostitlan representative, Nezahualcoyotl, the Scocos representative, and Totoquiazin, the Cuba's representative. Quatlicue, the earth goddess, with his son in the sun, with Silopochtli, already transformed into the god of war. With Silopochtli, he was born and buried in his arms to avenge himself from Koyoshauki's effronteries, the moon, his everyday enemy. In the background, we can see the great temple, Templo Mayor, such as I imagine it in all its splendor. who represents life and wisdom, turning his back on Tezcatlipoca, one of the Mexica's universe creators. Below, we have Mictlantecutli, the god of the underworld. In this area, we have the Makina Pakal image, a Mayan character found in his tomb. 
the Temple of Inscriptions. One must recall that the mask of the Lord of Palenque was stolen from the National Museum of Anthropology and History in December 1985. I wish to depict deities related among themselves, such as Tlaloc, the god of rain, and maker of the earth's liquor. Ejecatu, the god of wind, who sometimes is Quetzalcoatl's avocation. And Chalchitlicue, the goddess of the living waters. It can be said that the rivers run through her veins, fertilizing the earth. Hilonen, the goddess of the tender corn. And Mayagüey, the goddess of pulque. This is a wall that can be seen from the metro itself, and that, at the wagon's feet, a water snake that glides behind some reeds must be grasped. There's a small wall dedicated to Tezcatlipoca's mask. This is a mask made out of a real skull covered with green, black, and white stones that is kept in the British Museum and that was offered by Moctezuma to Hernán Cortés. The mural stands over a little more than 600 square meters in which are shown the lakes and cities placement around Tenochtitlan. I think that the mural painting implies mainly a visual question, a question of optic dynamic. The mural painting was made to be seen from different angles, and unlike from a canvas that cannot be seen from a space that one crosses by walking, the mural must be seen from the whole space that you can cover by foot, and it must work visually well, optically. So the mural was made for big spaces where many people go, and who do not usually visit museums or galleries, and who are eager to know such things. In my opinion, the Mexico City Metro is fulfilling an extraordinary mission in spreading culture, as it has natural exhibition halls. And I say natural because the spaces are there, and there is a constant change of shows. I state that the cultural work of the Mexican metro is an example that should be followed in other 